What's up, everybody? Welcome to Nate Land. Or hello, folks. Uh, I'm here with uh, Brian and Aaron. Fall is here, and it is time to get cozy around the fire with Solo Stove. Shop their fall event now at solostove.com. Get an extra $10 off when you use promo code Nate at checkout. They even offer a lifetime warranty and a 30-day free return policy. Also, shout out to our sponsor from the makers of Helix. The most comfortable mattress ever comes all form. Easily customizable sofas, armchairs, love seats, and more. All form delivers directly to your home with fast, free shipping. You can assemble all the furniture yourself in minutes. No tools needed. Right now, all form is offering 20% off all orders for our listeners at allform.com slash Nate. That's 20% off all orders at allform.com slash Nate. And uh, Scribd as well. Scribd, you get instant access to millions of ebooks, audiobooks, magazines, and more automated suggestions and hand curated picks make choosing your next book easier. Uh, and we have got a deal. You can go to try.scribd.com slash Nate for your 60 day free trial. That is try.scribd.com slash Nate to get 60 days of Scribd for free. And finally, save time and money this holiday season with stamps.com. Sign up with promo code Nate for a special offer that includes a four week trial, free postage, and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter code NATE. And if you're hearing this, uh, I mean, you know, uh, this episode we have with Graham, uh, we do not have comments at the top, and I apologize for that. Uh, This month has been uh, kind of ridiculous. Uh, scheduling wise, it's been fun. I've had a, it's been an awesome time. Uh, I mean, this is the, I'm home, I think one day from when November, whatever. Mm-hmm. I think I've gone 20 days and so I'm home this one day. Uh, and if you're wondering why we're not recording them right now, we're about to go to the Opry. We're about to go to the Opry. We have a show tonight. Uh, so I came home for that Opry show and I leave tomorrow. And so it's been, this month has just been super crazy. The shows have been awesome. Uh, so I'm, uh, sorry that we do not have these comments for you this time. I truly would, I don't want to not do that, but it just get, this got a little carried away. Uh, we will, we will get it back. We will get it back for you. Uh, y'all have been coming to the shows and I can't thank you enough. And the crowds have been unbelievable. Y'all are so nice. And I love getting to do this for you. Uh, so enjoy this. Sorry. It's a, a, a little quicker one, but it's funny. And Graham K is in it. And, uh, yeah. I love every one of you. What's up, everybody? Uh, we are here with Graham K. That's me. Oh, that's you. Yes, Canadian Zone. Canadian Zone. <laughs> well, we, is, that, is that how you say it? Canada. Yeah. Probably Canadians. Canadian Zone sounds like a bad whiskey. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it does. It comes in a plastic bottle. Right. What was the whiskey? Yeah. The Canadian Zone. God, I get a word just in the chamber. And I don't, there's no more sure. think about it. I just let just, it. Just, you're a confident yeah. man. And you should yeah. be. Yeah. But it, you know. Canadian zone. Canadian whiskey. What's the whiskey someone, or Justin said this weekend on the bus? Ever, uh, it was a real name of a guy, like something Smith, E. Smith. Oh, I can't remember. But Everett yeah. Smith or. Yeah. Something like that. Never heard of it. Yeah. Joseph. Man. We were you're talking about a whiskey and you thought that we were all talking about a guy. A guy. Yeah. Well, like, he's smooth. Yeah, it's not like Jack, yeah, yeah. It's it's not like Jack Daniels. It was just like I find him a little harsh. Yeah. Oh, do you? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. He's a guy. Yeah. My dad went missing after he hung out with him one time. Yeah. Like, yeah. Golly, what well, this guy is not a good guy at all. Uh, so uh, we have Graham here. We just also found out that this seat goes back. I also. We did just find that out, and you're really excited about. I it. I didn't know this could go back. I've never been back because I didn't know you could make it do that. The, um. What one of the uh, production people just switched my cup? And yeah, why did they do that? Th- does that mean I was drinking out of a dirty used cup? Oh, you were. Oh man. Yeah, that's how we do it on Batesville. I'm a germaphobe, and that's gonna. You're gonna think about the whole podcast. Kissed. Justin Smith. Justin Smith. <laughs> yeah. No, that was mine. Ugh. You've been on a bus with me. I guess so. It doesn't. Hurt. It doesn't help. We use the same toothbrush. I know why you're getting weird now. I don't like laid back, <laughs> reclined seat, Nate. Yeah. <laughs> this goes. I just start reading you off. Off. Yeah. <laughs> By the end of this, episode, I'm just alone. Hello, everybody. 
Welcome to Nate Only Podcast. Uh, yeah, we, we've uh, been on the road, living it up, uh, as always, Graham. Uh, we see Reddit. We had some nice Nate Land on the Nate Land Reddit. Uh, saw Nate in Mobile last night. The new hour is phenomenal. Nate's maybe mm-hmm. one of the best comics that's ever lived on life. Wow. Is that? I can't. I'm having trouble reading it. On life. He's on life. No one's ever been better. Graham K. Quit comedy. God, am I <laughs> on stage? Yeah, I, am I saying this right? It, it made the trade. Uh, no, she said. Uh, also, the show had a lot going on in the late show. A drunk lady heckling both openers, and a guy walked up to Nate during his set, but it was still fantastic. Also, Graham K is a killer up there. Highly recommend these shows. There you go, Graham. That's nice. There was a guy that walked up on me mm-hmm. and uh, laid down two business cards. And then said, I want you to make fun of me. On stage. I was on wow. stage. She got up out of his seat. Got out of his seat, walked to the front, laid two business cards down, and said, I think I, he goes, I just want you to make fun of me. And I said, oh. I think you're doing a pretty good job yourself. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that was a good burn. And then. Uh, then did he have to go return some video to Yeah, there's some crowd work. That? Actually, great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the crowd work is actually pretty good, but I definitely don't want to do that more. So if you're hearing <laughs> this, that's not, just have fun and enjoy Your it. Your next hours is going to be a crowd work. Hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it really did work out. So, it, look, it's maybe not you know a bad thing to every now and again you have something happen, but you just don't want it to. You're uh, almost too big to do crowd work now. It's like you up there in the fourth level. What yeah. was that? Yeah, <laughs> so here we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're too fat. Yeah, like, you're too big of a guy, right? To uh, it's uh, yeah, people way back. Yeah, uh, arena. Yeah, what's going on? Top row, you got a question? 87F. 87F, <laughs> shoot it down this way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's all you hear. You stink. Uh, when I start comedy? No, 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 no. Two, uh, 2003. You just mm-hmm. give me real <laughs> advice. This is good. This is good. This is a good show. Yeah. Also, uh, oh, also for Reddit, too, if anybody, my sister, I found out. And I guess there's a Nate Bargetsy Reddit. Mm-hmm. And uh, so the three of us on the show. Look at that. Yeah, there you go. And she, uh, she's on there as a uh, admin, whatever that is. Oh, really? But helping out. Your sister's an admin. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. She's yeah. A mod. A mod. Yeah. So it's like if it's the. So there's, there's a, a Nate Land subreddit, and then there's a yeah. Nate Bargetsy subreddit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys got your own subreddit. That's fine. Yeah, because Abigail now just texts me with all the questions that they ask. On that. <laughs> yeah. Here it is. Post. Yeah. They got yeah. someone on the inside. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So Abigail just goes, and I mean, I'll just get you know, what size shoe do you wear? Like, <laughs> you know, no, no, no. You're gonna get some homemade shoes. Yeah, I gotta get like yeah. <laughs> some psychopaths gonna yeah. whittle you some shoes. They do that on the email, but I just make stuff up. Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna bother you with it. So I just take a guess, yeah. or sometimes, depending on what it is, I yeah. purposely tell. Well, them. Abigail <laughs> makes me get involved. Everyone thinks. Well, not everyone. Most people think no now that I return, but some people still. And they'll send you this long, heartfelt email. Mm-hmm. And then I have to reply back as you. And mm-hmm. I think I have to misspell words and <laughs> say some stuff just to make it more authentic. Yeah. And they'll be like, breakfast is a stick in the, you know, like, yeah. and I have to, like, yeah, I hear you. He's yeah, a problem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're working on it. We're working on it. <laughs> it's, it's this morning we worked out and the, 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 the workout guy, um, uh, the, the, for Man. whatever reason, uh, Matt, so whatever reason, like the the countertops came up in conversation, and they kept calling it granite. He said a granite. Granite. Well, that was the guy with the cards. Oh right. Talk, right I was right. telling that uh, story. That's it. The person laid the card, the the business cards. I picked them up. One was a real estate agent, and the husband uh, sold grant grant. I was saying granite countertops. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, y'all in the. I think I said it on stage. And then yeah. now that I think about it, and I was like, y'all like in cahoots. Like you, your wife just goes and sells a house, and then you know, and she's like, the only bad thing is there's no granite top, yeah. <laughs> and she's like, but I know a guy that could yeah, probably I, do it. Yeah, mm. it's collusion. Yeah, but but I he told that story, and I was like, man, I just can't even get past how you say granite. Yeah, and then Matt goes, I thought that I was wrong. Turns out Matt used to work in a granite factory yeah, countertop yeah, yeah, factory. Yeah, yeah. But Nate was and saying it was so confident. Yeah. He was like, I wow. guess I was wrong the whole time I worked in this factory. <laughs> I was wrong. Maybe <laughs> that's why Matt didn't have a very he told us he didn't have a good time there. Maybe yeah. that's why. Because yeah. you're mispronouncing yeah. everything you're trying to sell. Mm. 
Kluge Fitness, Matt. He's great. He's great. Uh, yeah, I say, yeah. I think I said granite on dead gum, and I said it on stage, probably. I think everybody just rolls with it now. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think they know. Yeah. And then they, yeah, and they do it. That's everybody a- knows yours. You don't respond to every, like, the email, like, pretending to be me, though. I don't want people to think we're. If there's one that's, I will get it. No, I don't really pretend to be yeah. you but if the, sometimes they will send it directly to you telling you how much they enjoy the show yeah. how much, i'm not gonna i'm just gonna reply and say thank you so much for yeah. coming yeah i don't really pretend to be you yeah yeah i just want people to think if they send some big heartfelt thing i'm not gonna look at yeah. it or something. i'll mm-hmm. look at it i appreciate it yeah that's fun this is the idea of brian doing that it's funny though just going hello yeah, no. I am Nate. <laughs> I'm, Nate. I'm writing this to you on my granite n i g h t counter yeah. counter top. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, did you enjoy the theatre show? Do you also think <laughs> that that uh, Brian should get more money? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Tell me. I was thinking about paying breakfast a lot more than even I would make. Yeah. yeah. He deserves it. Yeah. Do you think that's something that Nate would go for? I mean, me, me, me would think, go for me. I would go for something yeah. like that. Yes, uh, I do too. Yeah. What were you gonna say? Yeah, it's something. Oh, I was gonna say granite. Oh, it's Lord. one Here of those. Go. No, get into it, Aaron. I'm saying like that's it. one of those. If you had said that, I would have think, oh, that's just an alternate pronunciation I've never heard before. Yeah, yeah. And I wouldn't want to sound like such an like idiot. Insurance. Go, uh, do you mean granite, dude? Yeah, and you'd be yeah. like, no, actually, there's a whole other way. Yeah, yeah. Because you're a good guy and Graham's not. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I need every upper hand I can get. Graham might. Yeah. When Graham might. What you call me? Yeah. <laughs> that's going to be, yeah. Everybody calls it Nick, Mick. They're yeah. going to call you Graham might. Anti Graham might. Anti Graham might. I don't know. That's good. I don't get it. I don't get it anti, either. I was trying to quote Seinfeld, anti dentite. Yeah, I'm oh, trying yeah. to anti oh, yeah, anti grandmite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're anti semite, anti grandma. Okay, that's what yeah, it is. Yeah, it's yeah, something yeah. with that. Anti dentite. Yeah. Anti dentite. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, you're an anti dentite. Yeah, that's a great. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. for next year, you say they should have their own schools. They do have their own <laughs> schools. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, this week. We uh, uh, we are talking about the 2010s. Graham, let me ask you something. Yeah. Uh, we've been doing all the decades, the 90s, pretty much everyone calls the 90s, uh-huh. 2010. I think people call them the 2010s. Uh-huh. What do you call the, the 2000s? So here's the thing. I have been uh, saying it's this It's a leading for, question. Okay. All right. You're right. What do you call the decade in between those 20 two? 20 years I've been saying this. Okay. We had the, the 20s, 30s, all the way to the 90s. Yeah. And then the year 2000 happened, I was a young boy, and I was like, what are we going to call it? <laughs> and there was no answer for a decade. And then I was like, the next decade happened. I was like, what are we going to call it? And everyone just, they just said that they called the whole 20 years the 2000s. They say early 2000s, late 2000s, which makes no sense. Mm. It's the, you know, I mean, I, I go, okay, fine. You can go early 2000s or the aughts is the first 10 years. And the next 10 years. I still don't, the teens, that doesn't make any sense. What, what about, you know, 10, 11, 12? Mm-hmm. There's no answer. It pisses me right off. I don't think anybody's saying the late 2000s. That would be. The late 2000s makes no, it's 2,990. Yeah. That, that's the uh-huh. late 2000s. Yeah. We're right. Not, you know. He, so, said, he said it though. You call it the aughts? I can't, I mean, the early aughts, I guess. I guess you call the whole, the whole 20 years the aughts. The early aughts. No, I'm talking about aughts. the 20 years. 2000 to 2010. Is aughts. 2000, 2010 is the the Thoughts. aughts. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I've never heard that. I heard, I hear, I hear most often the early 2000s yeah. is the first 10 years. I would just say, now I'd say 2000s, and then I'd say 2000, I like 2010s. Okay. And then it'll be the 2020s and 30s, yeah. 40s. Then you're back into like so the 2000- 1900s, 1910s. Like you just do that. Well, right. now we're, yeah, well, now we're in the 20s. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, 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 here's the thing it's 2021. We're halfway through 2021, people. Yeah. And we have not. No, I don't hear twenties in the in popular culture. You don't hear it. I do not hear it. Sight guys. Yeah. yeah. So we don't have it yet. We're still on this charade of just the lift, floating in purgatory, not no, not grabbing, grabbing on anything. Man, I yeah. had a nerve. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we. I, I want to know where I am. Yeah. <laughs> where am I? Where am I? Just where do I live? What are oh, we? I what am I going to tell the other earthlings? Oh, I tell my grandkids when, when I did stuff. Yeah. yeah. You know. 
I asked, uh, I meant to ask this last on, during the aught episode, but I forgot. But do you remember where you were in comedy when you started this decade and when you finished? So basically, two same spot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah. a lot of movement. Not a lot of movement. Yeah. You were were you in high school? Actually, backwards. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So the, like 2010. Yeah. Yeah, I was about. I graduated high school that summer. Right. Yeah, that's where I was. 2010. Yeah. 2010. Yeah. Someone showed Laura showed me a picture, it's like a meme or something, of an Iowa. It was either Iowa History Museum or a history thing. Ever it's an old, it's a computer with that blue back on the top of it. Mm-hmm. That's already in the History Museum. Yeah, that, yeah. that original iMac. Yeah, yeah. different yeah. colors, orange, green, yeah. Uh-huh. blue. Yeah, it's in a History Museum, yeah. and that's a and that's a joke they say to millennials, mm. which I technically you're like. <laughs> I mean, whatever I use, they're going to be like, well, there's not even a thing. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy to think, Yeah, I saw this thing invented, and then it's already in a history museum. The automobile. It's yeah. like when, when Red comes out of prison in Shawshank, it's like, sure is faster out here. <laughs> yeah. 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 Never seen it. He's never seen Shawshank. Uh, yeah. Oh, I forgot I about know. that. I'm going to. I, uh, I, I did the last show with you of 2019. And um, and it was in Atlanta at that yeah. theater. And, oh yeah, yeah. And we talked about like what was your first show of 2010 or first show of the decade, last show. You said you were at Eastville, you think, hmm. uh, doing a show in front of 20 people. Yeah. And then your last show of the decade was 2800, I think, yeah. that theater. Yeah, Cobb. That's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, it's crazy. I yeah, I have a, a little slightly less of an uptick. Yeah, uh, different. Yeah. Were you in the U.S. 20 people? Then he was. Uh, Back to 15. <laughs> yeah. We lost a couple. We lost a few. That club shut down. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, no I, Eastfield's still open. I, I was probably doing the same thing in the beginning of the decade, and it's a couple years ahead of me. And then uh, in New York, I was in New York, and then in 2011, I had to move back to Canada for almost four years. Mm. And then 2019, I would have been in New York when I started working mm. at the... You were much different. And like yeah. the the back the, back then, you're in a lot more places. People know you've done. Oh yeah, no, I'm, Canada, I'm, I'm, like, I'm 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 joking. Yeah. I'm like now I'm a yeah. you know a national headliner, which is yeah. nice. You know, yeah. I make a living. I don't have a day job. I've been having a day job in eight years. Yeah, it's 2010s, 2000 begin 2010. I was uh, a waiter and a bartender who would get fired every six months, mm-hmm. and now and then I. Yeah, you know, this decade I haven't had a, a day. I can't remember. Like it's been so long since I've had a day job. Yeah, that, that's something. I that's a win for sure, job. man. I have savings yeah. somehow. Wow. <laughs> I remember when you had a, uh, your day job. Well, I remember when you had to go back to Canada too. Like that was yeah. it was so crazy. Like yeah, because your green card was expiring or something, right? And then- uh, well, yeah. Well, I I was like on a tourist visa the whole yeah, time yeah. I was there, oh, and yeah. so it just got, that was like it got to a point where like I needed to get. I got a Conan audition and I wasn't legally allowed to do Conan. Yeah. So I just was like, okay, let's do this properly. Let's do this right. Yeah. And I tried, to, I was hoping it'd take a year and it just takes four years. I had to save up money to hire a lawyer. It cost like almost $15,000. I took out a huge loan and had to like basically become like a D list celebrity in my country of origin in order to like achieve all the little check marks that yeah. you need to basically prove to the American government that I am so funny that I won't be on welfare when I come here, <laughs> that I will contribute to society and not take away. Yeah. And in order to prove that, you have to like do a zillion things and hire a lawyer to make sure all of your things are in order and you do yeah. it right. So. Yeah. Yeah, but you went up in Canada. I mean, you actually you did a it was bunch great. of stuff. It yeah. was great. That's when I first... You wrote it on a TV show. Yeah. You wrote, I mean, you get the experience you got. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. I mean, I, I like, within a year, I didn't have a day job. I remember I worked at, at a restaurant for years, and I, I, I hated it. And, like, people treat you, treat you badly. And then, and I remember just being like, one day I'm going to be a full-time comedian, and I'm going to walk into my job and be like, you stink, you stink, you're cool, you stink, you know, do one yeah. of those big things. And I got, I booked an Axe body spray commercial and I had a two uh, a tour out west in Canada for two weeks, and I was like, I looked at like my finances, and I was like, and I looked at my bookings, and I was like, oh my, I think I can quit my job. Yeah. Oh my god. 
And like, so I went on tour for two weeks and I came back and I walked into my, my job and I was like, so excited to just let it all out and be like, you stink, you stink. I walked in, they fired the manager and completely changed the staff and no one remembered me. Yeah. <laughs> no one knew who I was. In those two weeks. In those two weeks. Yeah. I was like, who are you? And I was like, ah. <laughs> hey, do you know where those people are working right now? Uh, you just go find <laughs> yeah. their yeah. jobs. Yeah. Hey man, I'm trying to get back on my feet. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can tell them now. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. if you want to give out some, throw out some names who stinks, the core, you over it. I don't remember their names. Yeah. Presumably. But they know who they are. They know who they are. They know yeah. who's the stink and who's the cool. That's right. Yeah. And when did you yeah. live in the 250 square foot apartment? Uh, when I first moved to Toronto, I wanted to live on my own. And it was this, the size of this room. And I had everything in it. My Toronto's whole super expensive, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's like almost like New York prices. But I got, it was 600 bucks. And all everything was included. This is like 2011, 10 years ago, and um, and like I had to pay in cash. I paid a Russian guy in the basement in cash. Yeah. And there was a guy who lived bes uh, beside me or below me, and he had uh, a bunch of like it was a kind of building where where the this guy had like a bunch of like uh, printed out of a printer Harley Davidson uh, logos, and and he had a bunch of like handwritten like cops keep out. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was a good building. Did uh, yeah. you have your own bathroom? I had my own bathroom. Oh, yeah. that's good. Yeah, yeah. It was a fully contained apartment. One yeah. time, my my I was like partying with some friends, and my friend was like, "You know, that girl likes you." And we were all going back to my apartment to like hang, hang out and like yeah. basically, you know, sit on my bed yeah. and, and and drink. Mm -hmm. And uh, she came like a bit later, and then uh, and everyone left, and uh, and, I was, and I was like. He, my buddy was like, so what happened with that? Well, she didn't like me when she saw my apartment. Like, she walked in my apartment and was yeah. like, oh, this guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She like walked in the building probably and there yeah. were spider webs and like, yeah. she's just like, I, this guy with cops keep out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, ah, yeah. this guy's probably not a good investment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They go, that's very funny to think that like, yeah, she comes in, everybody's there and then she's like, I'll just go over there, have a drink with him, and then uh, I'll just go home after that. So you know, we'll have a fun mm -hmm. night. Mm -hmm. We'll sit in his living room. We're going to have a good time. <laughs> yeah. And you walk into his whole life. His whole life, yeah. His yeah. whole yeah. life. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. yeah. Everything's there. No kitchen. It had a kitchen and everything. I had like a, one of the walls. Yeah. Had a, a sink. Everything's and a microwave. there. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. It was like. Uh, I don't think. Did you mind it? Like, I always think, I always wanted to live in a studio apartment just because I like the idea of being, I just get my room. Yeah. And I got to do everything. I used to lose stuff in there. I'd be like, how? <laughs> yeah. 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 Where could it be? Where? Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it was it was good for that time in my life. But, you know, it's like all of a sudden you're like 32 yeah. and you're like, I don't have a car. I live in literally a closet. Yeah. Like, you know. In this house, there is a closet that's the same size. Yeah. And I was like, I got to, you know. So it gets old pretty yeah. soon. But Well, we don't have closets that big. But no. we're in a closet right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, you don't. no, you don't. But you, I mean, uh, no, I'm, jo I'm, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm joking. I don't want, you basically, like, uh, you start, you're like, you know, I mean, your bathtub is bigger than when I slept. You're like, yeah, we're yeah, not yeah. at a, this house is not $4 billion. This, 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 <laughs> is, this is a regular house. I'm just like, yeah. I, was, I, was I know, like, I'm gosh. joking. Mm -hmm. um, this house is... Are, but it, when you move back to anywhere that's not a city. For a comic, this is like the biggest This room house. is as yeah. big as as uh, your yeah. apartment, though, for real. Yeah, it was. Yeah, my, which my, is crazy to think. Imagine yeah. you had a party in here. Yeah. I, I That's the smallest apartment I ever had. I had more after parties in that apartment. Yeah. Now I live in a two-bedroom by myself. And it's like hard to get people. <laughs> when, yeah, come on. You know. They always. I live in a good neighborhood. Yeah, they always feel. I think people just don't want. You know, it's like when you're when you have that. They don't want. They know we can go over there and like it's not my home, and I don't care. It's like a fun. It's almost like fun to hang out. Yeah. In that scenario, mm -hmm. then when you start hanging out at a house, it gets yeah. you know. Because it doesn't matter in that little yeah. tiny place. It's yeah. like this is temporary. This is not an investment. Yeah. All this furniture is a dollar. Yeah. Yeah, it's like 
It was fun. Would you try to go to bed when your party was still there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys just have fun. I'll be yeah. over. Uh, I'm gonna go to I'll bed. be on this side of your back. And then you, then you <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys have, he goes, guys, everybody have a good night. I'm going to just crash. <laughs> and then you sit down on your bed. <laughs> like you make that statement from the bed. <laughs> yeah. I just close my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> You're still... laying on the bed. Hey, everybody, I'm going to crash real fast. Yeah. Just those eyes closed. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's still sitting there. No, it's cool. It's cool. No, no, no. Don't worry about yeah. it. Should we go to the bathroom? Like, no, 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 no and access exclusive discounts on UPS and USPS service services all year long. It just makes sense, especially if your business sends more mail and packages during the holidays. Whether you're selling online or running an office or starting a new business, Stamps.com can save you so much time, money, and stress during the holidays. Access all the post office and UPS shipping services you need without taking the trip. You get discounts you, you can't find anywhere else, like up to 40% off USPS rates and 76% off UPS. Going to the post office instead of using stamps.com is kind of like taking the stairs instead of the elevator, right? <laughs> That's why you do it. It's quicker. It's better. And the stamps prices, you know, it's, they you don't want to be involved in all that. <laughs> You'll save so much time and money, you will wonder why you did not start sooner Save time and money this holiday season with Stamps.com. Sign up with promo code Nate for a special offer that includes a four-week trial, free postage, and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter code Nate. Scribd. With today's endless amount of content across multiple platforms, trying to find a book or audio book or podcast takes forever. I mean, I even give up. You know, sometimes it's very hard to search stuff and you're trying to find where it could be. Now, I just go to one place. It's called Scribd. With Scribd, you get instant access to millions of ebooks, audiobooks, magazines, and more. You also get thoughtfully selected editor's picks and smart recommendations based on what you have read, which makes choosing your next book that much simpler. I've started because uh, they didn't know what to tell me to read because it's like you haven't read. <laughs> and now I've started uh, going military books. It's got no data to make a recommendation. It goes, what do you yeah. want to do? I go, I don't know, but I'm getting it. And now Scribd knows how to offer me the books. That will keep, because I do need to read more because it makes you smarter. I went through a good phase of reading. and then, But I'm getting back in it now. Wired Tech Crunch and Forbes called it Netflix for books. Just like streaming service for TV today, we have access to so much content at our fingertips. The same thing goes for books. Instead of standing in front of your bookshelf waiting for a title to jump out at you, sign sign up for Scribd and you get access to millions of these ebooks, audiobooks, magazines, and more. Uh, so I have uh, I have listened to a few podcasts. I listen to a few audiobooks on the road. It's easy. You just have it all in one place. Like I said, with Scribd, the world's most fascinating libraries at your fingertips, all for just nine ninety nine a month. Right now, Scribd is offering our listeners a free 60-day trial, which is great. You can just try it. Go to try.scribd.com slash Nate for your free trial. Be sure to use that address because it is normally a 30-day free trial, but our listeners get 60 days. Mm. That's try.scribd.com slash Nate to get 60 days of Scribd for free. All right. So we're talking about the 2010s or whatever they're called. Uh, two presidential elections, Obama reelected in 2012, Trump in 2016. That's right. Mm-hmm. Technically, the decades 2001 to, I mean, 2011 to 2020, so I guess there was three new presidents, oh. technically. Is that like every, is that just? I guess that would happen every so often in the, the calendar, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. But not like once so every 40 often. years yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Uh, in 2011, Osama bin Laden found him, killed him. Nate. Bad News Bates, we were all big fans of Osama. I know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Nate called me crying when it yeah. happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know each other yet. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Did upset. you hear? Yeah. Did you hear it? It's all going to crumble <laughs> over there. They had a good thing going over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, watching people like 
I, I, like, I think there was a big baseball game happening. Yep. And, and everybody everyone, checking their phones. On their phone. That was cool. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, John Cena announced it at a WWE event. <laughs> really? Oh, yep, yeah. That's like, I just got I, some news. Oh, my The place God. goes nuts. Yeah, if yeah. you want a man in jorts. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, not wrong. Information. He, yeah, like he got the news. <laughs> he heard somehow more, you know. Yeah. Just well, like the, everybody else. The president, they go direct yeah. line to John Cena. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you be one of my first Y'all going to go tell the news stations, they go, Let's do Cena first, and then we're doing the <laughs> more. Stations. More people watching, are watching that. Raw than, yeah, yeah. We joked that he kept his phone in his George. Yeah, apparently that's he did. How he knows <laughs> that he kept all his stuff. I was like, yeah, that John Cena always had like his jeans. He had yeah. like his keys and like some gum. Before and, he walks out there, he's he gonna like, take his wallet out. <laughs> he's gonna be like, hold on a second. All right, all right. Hold that's on, why, like, do. the when he body slams somebody, or was when he drops on top of him with his leg, yeah. it, it hurts extra because there's just keys yeah. going ah! keys in it. You always see everybody picks up the change that falls out of his pockets. Yeah, That's part of it. Yeah. <laughs> I got a John Cena dime. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a couple of royal weddings. Oh, that's exciting. Can't believe I forgot those. Yeah. Prince William, Kate Middleton, and Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Prince Harry and Meghan had the bigger viewership. Oh, yeah. 1.9 billion. Then the other, what the, was the other, other ones one? are about a billion. Yeah. Kate Middleton yeah. really got overshadowed by Meghan Markle, didn't she? Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah and she's her. like the. Uh, Middleton, I feel like, is like what they what they want that they want. Oh, That's yeah. like, uh, you know, she's like Princess Di. She's the, yeah. you know. Do you do you think Canadians care more about the royal family? than Hundred percent. Yeah, because you got the relationship with the yes. The, okay. Yeah. Yes, we were the the uh, what's it called? Good. Uh, oh gosh. Good. Yeah, uh, my brain's Fellows. broken. Oh my! Commonwealth. Oh Commonwealth. My God. I kept saying goodwill. No. Yeah. Goodwill. No. Yeah. Brain. We discussed this. Good money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Commonwealth. The Commonwealth. Basically. Yeah. Right. So that's where. You, so y'all celebrated. Y'all. Y'all. That y'all like. Y'all like queens and kings and. Well, I mean, my generation doesn't care. Yeah. But I think my mom is the last generation to yeah. really care. She like my mom is is an immigrant and she yeah. loves the queen. She's like she yeah. just loves the whole thing, the pomp and ceremony, and the, yeah. But my my mom it. loves it too. Yeah, An immigrant from England? No, she's from uh, former Czechoslovakia. And the Commonwealth's there? Nope. No. no. Oh, okay. I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It makes no sense. Yeah. She just loves it though. It's but my mom it makes loves her it. feel more Canadian, maybe. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think it's but my mom loves it. I think it's a big mom thing. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm convinced of. Mm-hmm. It's a prince is tailor made for the his tailor made for moms. Oh, if the you're and if the, the ones yeah. and everybody that watched Princess Die, mm-hmm. so Princess Die was so big, mm-hmm. and so I think that's the obsession with it. And I think it's getting less and less now because it's people don't know about it. It's, I mean, it's still huge, still booming. People are watching it, but it's uh, it's Princess Die. Like I I I believe it's like that that generation of People that really watched Princess Die, which would have been your mom, my mom, mm-hmm. like they are just, they love the crown. They love the, it's, I mean, it's like a romantic kind yeah. of, it's crazy. It's kind of yeah. a crazy there thing. There was a weight in my household when she died. And Princess, like I just oh, remember yeah. being a little kid and just being like, man, this is bad. Yeah. It was like, I don't know, like when JFK got shot or something, yeah. I imagine. It was like, yeah. it was like a week long problem in my house and yeah I, was like, I just want to play with my cars yeah yeah and you gotta yeah. put your cars on the funeral yeah the funeral procession <laughs> yeah. look what i made yeah. mom yeah. <laughs> just yeah. a lego Jeez. lady yeah x is over her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and the, she's in the pickup truck yeah you're like, yeah. i'm I doing my best spaceship yeah. she's bigger than the truck yeah. you go, i don't know i'm yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think there's more. Long like, Live the Queen. Two Princess Die movies coming out. Oh, really? Here yeah. just in the next few weeks. Yeah. Uh, Kristen Stewart plays her. In- there be. Uh. Oh, yeah. Just coming up with. There has never been one, though, right? So that's kind of new. There's a big. The Crown had it all played yeah. out. Yeah. I watched that. Yeah. It's the only show my dad can get my mom to watch with him. This is The Crown. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 They did. Uh, yeah, I was thinking that's like everything that they make movies. Like they're now just doing Prince Tide. It's going to be tough now. You're just watching. I think they're making stuff too. Like I feel like when they used to remake movies, it was like very far removed from it. Mm. I guess Prince Tide is far. That's a long time. It's like early 90s. 25 years I graduate, almost. Yeah. 25 years though. I mean, that was Seinfeld's been off the air for 25 years. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It doesn't feel it's that, 90, that old. It's 97. 97. So I, I when I graduated high school because I was at Liz Embry's house. Mm-hmm. Uh 97. To like new people? 
to like Gen Z. To them, yeah, Seinfeld is like the Andy uh, Griffith, Griffith show. show to us. That's <laughs> yeah. how far it is away. Yeah. Isn't that nuts? No, but Andy Griffith show was the 50s and 60s. So when we watched Andy Griffith, the black and white ones, 30. we were... It was it was forty years. Okay, okay. So like they're watching Seinfeld. They're I mean Gen Z. I mean it's like how what's Gen Z like? Harper? Okay, Batman, Batman, the Bat from the sixties or Star Trek from the sixties. Yeah, but that was that's almost like thirty. That's what I would when I watched that back then. You're yeah. watching black and white. Yeah. So I mean it's pretty close. Seinfeld, the first year was eighty nine, so that's over thirty years. And, and so this was sixty. And you watch it in ninety, that would be thirty. Yeah. 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 I right. guess. I Isn't that weird? Like, but I, that would be. How old is Gen Z? Uh, are they twenty? Yeah, they? yeah, they're yeah. Like twenty two. So that I mean, so they're only twenty five years apart. I mean, it's close, but it's yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, the, yeah. I don't like it's it. Close. I don't. What I'm saying. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's it's sick. it's sort of. But it feels. Uh, I feel like they used to make stuff just not as close, and yeah. now it's like Princess Diamond. I mean, I'm. You know, I always talk about that. Like they make these movies. Just over and over, the most unoriginal ideas. It's just the same things, and we're well, talking two Princess Di movies at once. Apparently, yeah. So well, that's what they do now. They yeah. just they they come up with an idea. I do a time travel. And this show one, she it. lives. Uh, yeah. This, but it's like that kind of thing where <laughs> yeah, you go. Cool. Uh, they're you know, it's like it's it's like oh, this one's doing good, and people are like to hear make it. They go, well, we're gonna make it two for ours. I, I I honestly, there's not. I don't think much original thought. In making stuff anymore, no. and uh, they just want to do like you know whatever. All right, perfect. That's a re you know reboot of that, or you know like whatever they're doing that reboot of the '70s show, which I love them and they're amazing. And it's like we're just do the night. You're like, why don't you make a show with them? That's not does it have to be the they're doing a '90s show like yeah for the '70s. That's interesting. yeah, yeah, but it's like just. So just do a different show with them, though. I mean, like, the, I don't, I don't, I is like it the same actors. No. Yeah, it is. David Joe Rupp and Kurtwood Smith. Yeah, same actors. Yeah, which they did my mm -hmm. pilot, and then so which they're amazing together. Uh -huh. But make my pilot. That was a different show. <laughs> <laughs> we can see that coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you same actors, just do a different yeah. show. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> like, here's an idea. You yeah. bring How in a comedian. My show? How about my show? Yeah, <laughs> set it in Nashville. But they, it's uh, which we brought. You know, it's I don't know. It's like we're talking about. Uh, this is coming after Halloween, but we're like we're now here talk, doing this before Halloween. But like, they're coming out the new Scream, which I'm very excited about because I love Scream. Mm -hmm. And so I say all this stuff about this, and then I'm I don't you know, and then I have my own thoughts, and it's just my things I like, and everybody should like my things and no other things. I agree. But they have a new Scream coming out, and then I was thinking about Halloween. We were talking about last night. Go make a new Halloween. Like, not, a, I mean, they are making a new Halloween. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's out this yeah. week. Yeah. But I mean, go make a new, uh, like, thing. Make a, a new, new franchise. Character. Make a new franchise. Yeah. Like, they're doing all this stuff where they just make the same movie and they're like, you know, and they bring people back. I get the idea of having another Scream and this is a, I like, I get, I love Scream. So I get even having new Halloweens. I get the idea that they're fun. There's a point where you want to go like, guys, start thinking about creating a new thing. Create a new Superman. Do a new superhero that's just completely new and different. And do that kind of stuff. Create a new world that people can do. Like, I don't think they do that as much. Is that what Harry Potter was? Or was that made off a book? It was a book first. Yeah. But it's like that was a whole new world, right? Yeah, like, yeah, right. It's like Game of Thrones was a whole new. People want these new worlds. And they don't do that. They just go, what about this again? But well, newer. It's, it's this... These are huge franchises before their movies, right? So they know it's going to be a hit movie because it already has this built-in fan base that's going to yeah. watch it, even if it's bad. Even if it, they, they yeah, but go so. bake more of that instead of just going. You know, I always thought that when people adapt a book to a movie, is it you know it's like, well, the book has got to be amazing, and so books are basically amazing, <laughs> right? Because yeah. it's like you bake her. And then, uh, and they, and like he said, they got millions of people bought it, yeah. and read it, and loved it. So they know the movie will make money. I know, but that's what's so funny. Like, then start making movies like books, like do something. Cause if the books are so amazing, and those guys that write the books, the people that write the books are so great at it, and they make this such a compelling story, and there's new characters, there's new this. I know there's even the same guys, what's the main guys that write all the main books? Uh, the, the authors what, yeah what are the main big authors tom clancy or grisham like, yeah like grisham that's all different 
stories, right? Mm -hmm. So this dude's made a whole series. I mean, he's, all his books is just a different story. It's not like he's going, there's one character and I'm going to do 40 books with that character. Yeah. This guy's so creative that he's just, it's different worlds. Maybe he has one that does three. Maybe there's more. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I, I don't know any of if it's true or not. But if you look at that aspect, you're like, well, make yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, You're having the guys be, your people are so creative that they're making, they have a, They've written 50 books and they're all 50 different. Yeah. And it's there's not the same character. You know, it's the same style, but it's like that's how creative books are. I just think that they're they're out there, all those things are out there. It's just that the studios are they're they seem to be more risk averse than ever. Yeah. So yeah. they're just like if we make this superhero movie, we know and it doesn't we don't have to worry about a lot of dialogue. We just make as long as it does People are going to watch it in America, and it's going to do well in China. Yeah. And those are the two biggest markets we care about. And the less dialogue, the then the better it is because we the more sense it'll make in China. So yeah. there'll be less dubbing and all that. So they just do these superhero movies, which are just you know, right? Yeah, there's like no it's a factory. Yeah, yeah, it's a factory. So, but you know, things go in 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 ebbs and flows, and I think that we're kind of coming to the end. Like people are pretty. I think people are like you are like bored. We're yeah, getting pretty bored. Yeah, I mean, I was I was bored from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. I'm like but you're kind of like you know, and there's people that are super into it. I mean, I people got mad because I uh, with the Marvel stuff, and I get the idea of it. But there's a point you want to go like you don't want anything new, mm -hmm. like you know. And then all they're doing is aren't they doing the comic books? Are they even creating a new storyline, or are they just basically like they take the comic books? There's new comic books. Oh. There's all sorts of new ones. I mean, I'm, I don't. I'm not a comic book guy, but yeah. like I'll go in. Like I went, I'm always looking for stuff for my brother, mm -hmm. and so every once in a while I go to like a comic book store, like store, and and then they're like, "What about this? What about that? This is a cool new series." And, and I'm like, "I, you know, it's there's a lot out there." Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean but, that, I, but that's creating because they are creating. Yeah. And then the movie industry is not. Yeah. They're not creative. Nope. And they're the ones that and they're the wanna, suits. They're the the suits. suits are not creative. Yeah. yeah. They just want they're just yeah. It's just a factory. Yeah. You know? I'm becoming a hippie. But the thing is that's what I feel like I'm becoming now. I'm uh -huh. gonna be <laughs> get a van. I rode in a van this weekend, and I'll be honestly, pretty awesome. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh like some an vans old, are yeah. no, no. I'm looking up old trucks now. I think I do want to buy an old truck. Old trucks are cool. Yeah. I think uh I've started looking up some old trucks because uh i just think there's too much i mean i want like i like cool like i'm not the biggest car guy but i like the like if you see this one there's a mercedes eqs that's going to come out and it's unreal dude it's electric it's uh the inside of it looks insane it's the coolest car i've ever seen in my life and then but then my phone will ring and i'm like furious because i just hate <laughs> There's 11 buttons to push, and the tires like, might fall Yeah, you off. just you sit there, the and you're button. like, it's just overwhelming yeah. to be like, all right, man, I just can't. And I want to just go sit in a one-row seat yeah. thing and drive just a car. A, a break? No screens. Just a yeah. break from screens. Just nothing. And just yeah. sit there and drive a truck. Like, this this car is... It's beautiful. I mean, it's beautiful. It's, it's all screens. Uh, it's just like a I love spaceship it on the so inside. Much. Yeah. It does look like a spaceship. It does. It would be I'm I I you know would love to have that car. You want day. it? You want it all or all screen or no screen? Yeah, basically, yeah, yeah. That'd be the best if you can get to that world. But it's like I just kind of want to get a truck I would love or that. a jeep and just yeah. be like I'm just gonna go drive around in this. I I would love yeah. that. So I'm on the same. I would if I ever buy. I would. One of the things that got me through the pandemic is looking at used cars, yeah. just old cars, and being like, yeah, I could buy that. Yeah, maybe I buy that. This is my favorite looking car of all time. Oh, the yeah. Bronco that OJ drove, yeah. cool. I think it's such a cool looking car. Mm -hmm. And now that's all anyone knows it as, is the car that you OJ get, drove. Get it, you, you get it to... You get it in different color, maybe. You get the black bottom with the gray top. Yeah. You get the red line in the middle. That's cool. Uh, that would be cool. Yeah. yeah. You just can't go all white because that's... Uh, no, you can't do that. That's OJ. You know? Three victims that day. <laughs> the Bronco. Bronco. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, yeah, the other that's the real, yeah. Victim, right? that's that, real victim, that lady and, and the waiter. Yeah, if you have been listening to the show for a while, you've probably heard me talk about our Helix mattress. We love it, 
Helix has left the bedroom, started making sofas and more. They just launched a new company called Allform, and they are already making the best sofas we have ever seen. Allform is the easiest way you can customize a sofa using premium materials and at a fraction of the cost of traditional stores. You can pick a fabric, which is spill, stain, and scratch resistant, the color, color of the legs, sofa size, and shape to make sure it is perfect for you and your home. All form sofas are also delivered directly to your home with fast, free shipping. Sofas can take weeks or months to arrive, and you need someone to put it together. All form takes just three to seven days to arrive, and you assemble it yourself. Laura assembled ours. She did it. And I mean, so I, that's, you know, that's how easy it was. Uh, for the office, we chose the armchair with the sand fabric with uh, nat- the natural wood legs. It is a really comfortable and roomy chair. I've said before, that's where I sit in, and Laura yells at me about everything. Uh, and it's and I'm comfortable as she tells me <laughs> how much I'm doing wrong. <laughs> if getting a stuff without trying it in the store sounds a little too risky, I mean, you get 100 days to decide if you want to keep it. That's more than three months. That's a ton of time. If you don't love it, they will pick it up for free and give you a full refund. But we love ours. You will love yours. They even offer a forever warranty, literally forever. To find your perfect sofa or chair, check out allform.com slash Nate. And Allform is offering 20% off all orders for our listeners at allform.com slash Nate. A-L-L-F-O-R-M dot com slash Nate for your new favorite sofa. That's 20% off all orders at allform.com slash Nate. We are ready to get into fall. We like the cooler nights. Enjoying a nice fire with our friends and family, making s'mores over at our solo stove. We watched uh, Vandy games, Titans game, Halloween. We used this solo stove. I've seen solo stove like pop up, and people having pictures. I mean, a lot of people are buying solo stove. Yeah. You're seeing how great it is. Solo stove has been so much better than any fire pit I've ever been around. Not smelling like a campfire is just the best. Like I said, I've always like would I would I'd go wash my clothes like. I just remember somebody like, you want to start a fire? And I would be like, I just would rather not because I got to go take a shower. I got to go wash these clothes. Yeah. I don't want to do it. But with Solo Stove, you're like, yeah, dude, let's start this fire because you're not going to smell like anything. There is no setup. Just unbox and enjoy a little fire starter wood, and you can have a nice fire quickly. We have the bonfire version with Stan. It is small enough to take to the front or the back, or if we go to the lake, we can easily take it there. It burns down to a white ash. So cleanup is super easy. Solo stove creates great times without the fireside fumes. It's so little smoke. I mean, it's easy to keep lit and even easier to clean. Solo stove fire pits are portable and built to last. It looks great, too. They are so confident you will love it. They offer a lifetime warranty and a 30-day free return policy. Get the perfect fire pit for those fall nights and make your backyard a destination with a spectacular fire pit from Solo Stove. That's the best, too. If you want people to come to your house, which I like instead of going to someone else's house, you have a solo stove. Mm-hmm. You know, Felix got one. Me, I, we have one. <laughs> and we're doing, we, and then I get to go over to his and see it. So you can go if you're like, I don't want, get your neighbor to buy it. Yeah. That's the best way. Right. Shop the fall event now and get an extra $10 off when you use promo code Nate at checkout. They are so confident you will love it. They offer a lifetime warranty and a 30 day free return policy. Just go to solostove.com and remember you get $10 off when you use promo code Nate. Back to movies. Uh, yes. <laughs> top grossing movie of the decade. Uh, 2010s? Yeah, the 2010s. Titanic. <laughs> that was the 90s. Tit- E.T. <laughs> E.T. <laughs> that was just, a, what's that movie with the blue people? Avatar. That was Avatar. the 2000s. That was the aughts. Oh, that was God, all this. Yeah. Oh, the two, God, Harry Potter. 2010s? I said this to you. Harry Potter. No. Yeah. Lord of the Rings. No, these are different. Y'all are having been the right I decade yet. I don't even yet. care. Just say it now. Avengers Endgame. Uh, yeah, that there, makes we sense. Go. there we go. That makes sense. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Then Star Wars The Force Awakens and then the Avengers Affinity War. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There you go. Top selling book, Fifty Shades of Grey. That makes there sense. You go. Oh, I thought that had been earlier. Of the whole decade. According wow. to this. It was big. <laughs> and they made a movie out of it. They made a they movie. They made a few, out. didn't they? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Uh Ice Bucket Challenge. Oh, Trying to be positive that. here. Not I got a lot of negative here, but yeah, yeah positive. Ice bucket challenge was that was like the first ever. It was kind of fun because 
it was like everybody in every country was was doing it. it was yeah, like we're all connected, doing this fun thing that ultimately had a good cause. And it was, I don't know. It was great. Did you do one? It was great. No, uh, no. I did a, I've done a polar plunge, but I've never, I didn't do the ice bucket. Did you get challenged? Uh, I did, and I just didn't respond. Yeah, <laughs> That's yeah, what yeah, I did yeah, too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now you're getting challenged. Like people are doing it now, and they send it to you, and you're like, yeah, we're we're kind of through with that. Like I'm not. It's like a push up challenge one. Yeah, uh-huh, There's right. like, hey, you want to do this challenge? And I mean, you're like, not. Nah, I mean, no. this is. It's weird. like asking me to do the Macarena. Yeah, it's yeah. It's like ten years yeah, ago, yeah, man. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come up with a new thing, dude. Yeah. I'm not gonna film myself doing forty push ups yeah. for, or whatever, whatever. I think the push up one is actually for like a guy that yeah. used to do that. Uh, that gave his life, so it's actually a good calls. Mm. But they're all good causes. But it's exactly. like all these kind of new things where you're like, yeah, I'm not. You know, we're it's over. We challenge. I remember it got oh it did it was, it was social media uh-huh. and it was everybody challenging everybody and they're like whoa this is cool and then it was just, it's funny how quick we get over stuff well it's too much it's it's so it's it'll be a month of that's every single day and then yeah you kind of go all right yeah it was an eight week period in 2014 115 million was raised yeah they saw a 30 percent increase in funding that's great yeah. Thirty God, only thirty percent. That means like I mean I did it, but I didn't give any money. Yeah, th- most people <laughs> did it and didn't give me money. Yeah, the guy who did it. So say the guy who started he, that. He drowned. Really? It's true. Really? They yeah. started it. He died doing an ice bucket challenge. No, oh. <laughs> he fell off a boat or something. Oh. He, isn't that crazy? Yeah, I did not know that. Yeah. I didn't know that. I'm not even joking. Yeah, I hope not. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, also I could be wrong. Uh, but I, <laughs> I remember that information, and it it felt real. He had ALS, mul- multiple sources, uh-huh. right? I guess so. But he died. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. You know the guy that invented the Segway, rode a Segway off a cliff and died. Yeah, That's how he died. Yeah, yeah. How did he ride it off a cliff? He was trying. He was trying to ride on the cliff on a Segway. Is ride that, down it? Is that, no, he was just trying to hang out around the like, top. This is impressive technology. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then it kind of took off. Man. And then, yeah. wow. I don't know. Uh. <laughs> uh, in 2014 at a Philadelphia Cup called the Trocadero Hannibal Burris did his routine about Bill Cosby yeah he'd been doing it for six months but somebody recorded it uploaded it and then Cosby's in jail yep. it is crazy that is he's crazy. in jail because of a stand up comedy yeah. set that someone recorded in the back of a room yeah. it, that's just like it would never have happened if there wasn't uh, smartphones out yep. everywhere and it completely viral yeah. it was crazy yeah yeah yeah, changed Cosby's life. A little bit. I mean, yeah, how crazy is that? Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, it's, I mean, it, obviously, but it's. Isn't he touring again? Yeah, I think he wants to. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, but it's, he's, a, yeah. I, I don't know if I talked, we, we've talked about it, but like, it's crazy to me that he's, he's someone that, like, Joe Paterno got killed. I mean, he killed, died immediately mm. when all that stuff came. Like, it, it was yeah. almost like the weight of all that was just on him. Uh-huh. And then it's out. And then, I mean, it was like right. two months, he's gone. Yep. And Cosby's that old, and this dude is like, I might tour, and you're like, I, this guy might live for forty more years. He's blind, yeah. yeah, yeah. He just does his what I, you know. He's just out there, yeah. It's out crazy. of spite, yeah, yeah. Uh, in 2015, BuzzFeed posted an article featuring an image of a striped dress and asked viewers to vote on the color of it. Oh man, white and gold or blue and black, and it blew the internet up. Uh, uh, become such a debate that. That uh, everyone had to weigh in on it, including the president. Are blue and black, right? White and white gold. and gold or blue and black? I see white and gold. I, I see, see white and gold black. on that one. Yeah, yeah, that's blue and black to me. Is it really? Yeah. What do you see? What? I remember, but I remember when this came out. I think I thought the other the other way around. Yeah, the right but, way, and then <laughs> uh, that looks black to you right now. Yeah, Does black, like gold, to you? black, it's and gold to me. Black and light blue. Well, that's you're being ridiculous if everybody else thinks it. Really, the yeah. answer, the correct answer is blue and black. Blue and black. Yeah, there's no that doesn't look blue and black. <laughs> well, there's just a weird filter it's a weird, on it yeah. or something. I don't know. Yeah, like well, look that at that. One. Yeah. yeah, those that say that are different, you're you know, it's almost like taking a bit. All right. <laughs> I remember it being a crazy thing, and then just you're like, okay, look at that bottom one. This is original, uh, like brighter. Yeah, yeah, this one right here. Yeah, yeah, uh, blue and gold. I could see blue. You could say blue and gold, brighter. Look at what the bottom says. Darker. Oh, I guess you're 
white and gold, blue and black. But yeah, I could see, you know, I mean, what this is the beginning of the end right there. Yeah, we had, we had, that it was a crazy. slow year. Uh-huh. Yeah, and what what came out right after the words Yanni and Yanni and Laurel? And Laurel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those yeah. were all, those were all really big. Yeah, it's like yeah. young people heard Yanni, old people heard Laurel or something. Like yeah, that. Oh, I didn't know it was by age like that. Because your hearing's different. Yeah, yeah, we've we talked, learned. We've yeah. learned. Previous episode I'm talking about. I used to have a ringtone in elementary school that only the kids could hear. Really, the teachers couldn't hear it because it was such a high frequency. Yeah, and then we played a sound, and we could the the crew and I could hear it, and these two old geezers could. <laughs> yeah, felt pretty good. Man, how old are you? Twenty nine. Yeah, he's about to lose it though. I, I'm right there. What is it? Thirty? At thirty? I feel like as soon as I turn thirty, I'm losing all yeah. that stuff. Yeah, I'm already going gray. Like it's the beginning yeah. of the end it's for the sure. Beginning. Yeah. Well, you had a good run. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, man. Uh, let's get some bad stuff in here. Hurricane Sandy. Okay. It's the largest Atlanta tropical storm ever. That's in New York. Yep, that's the one that I moved. I think I've told me that. too. I moved yeah. like six, like three. I think like five months. And it I moved the, that day. Re- really? Me and Louis Katz. We were moving anyway to Los Angeles. Louis when Katz was it? 2012. Hello. Oh, tell Louis. I talked to him the other day. Uh, uh, I don't have the year for that him. one. I believe it was 2012. And so 2011. That's when I moved. I think it's 12. Right. But okay. Yeah, good point. Uh, Hurricane Irene was 2011. So maybe we left in Irene. Maybe. Yeah. So they, uh, so Sandy, we were in, uh, I mean, it's coming up. It's almost, you know, 10 days away. Uh, but it's, uh, this will, it's past if <laughs> yeah. you're watching this. But this, so we were in uh, New York. Have I told this? Maybe. I think some of uh, it, yeah. yeah. And we were in New York and Harper was. She was born in 2012, so she was, you know, two months old, something like that. And uh, we did, they got her, uh, I I drove, Laura was trying to fly home, her dad was up there helping, and uh, I drove, and then she uh, got stuck, and then I, I had to leave. That's my thing that I always said was, in a hurricane, they tell you, you got to be careful, please help out old people and babies, and I left my wife with both of those things. <laughs> <laughs> In 2014, Malaysian airline flight 370 vanished. Yeah, still one of the craziest things. Have you watched a thing on that though? No. They went. They just drove. Uh, the pilots w- did, like wanted to do this. I think one pilot, not both, but one was. It's like committed suicide. Oh really? Mm-hmm. I watched a story. Oh, I thought there. that was a different flight. I thought it was this one because I thought they did find pieces of this plane. They did find yeah. pieces of that flight. I thought there was a different one. The pilot committed suicide and drove into a mountain or something. No, no. This one, I believe, he just kept going super high. Yeah. And so I almost think every you almost kind of like everybody falls asleep and mm-hmm. then you kind of die like that. Like, and then that's what he wanted to do. And then eventually it ran out of fuel and and so that's why they had no idea where it was because it was like he was just so high. You it, could look that up and see if that's exactly uh-huh. the case, but. I thought I, I watched something on. There's these YouTube videos about airplane crashes. Yeah, that they re-show them. Like you know, uh, you can hear some of them where they talk, and it's computer generated, and so it shows you like exactly what happens. It's got it's pretty interesting. Uh, just you know, they got not that you want to watch these. No. You realize that most I fly like twice a week. Yeah, but your biggest fear of flying is. You know, like the engine falls off and you just fall out of the ground. Like, it's like, that just doesn't. Yeah. And it's always a mistake. And mm-hmm. that is, there's no, you can't, you got to just hope that has happened. But it's, it's very rare for this stuff to happen. They just don't like oh, yeah. do this. And then it's usually if something goes wrong and it's, uh, you know, it's always said to be in a plane crash, being the worst thing ever as that would be, your odds are like lottery odds. Right. Like, you know, you're. You know, if you, uh, I always try to think of the. No, I think Malaysian, not long after that, another Malaysian air flight got shot out of the sky above Ukraine. Yeah. Oh, that's that would the same not be airline. Fun. Yeah. 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 Man, bad decade for them, huh? <laughs> yeah. Did it say I why? Mean, it was a bad year. So, as far as I can tell, just from scrolling through, there's, there's all kinds of theories, but yeah. there's not like an officially accepted answer yeah. of what exactly I happened. Have one. <laughs> well, that's actually the best one I've heard. 
Yeah. You know, just fly up and then everybody passes out. Dies. He dies. Mm -hmm. Wasn't there a golfer that died on a flight and they thought that happened? Payne Stewart. Payne Stewart. Yeah. So they do it. Uh, yeah, the, the the they lose Kevin and they they fly, they fly up next to him and then they're just all mm. gone. So sad. Yeah. And then he was amazing. And I remember. I remember when, his I, I remember outfits, when, man. Yeah, yeah. I remember when he died. Like I remember that. Me too. He was and I remember just thinking, I was like, when you heard well, how, and you're like, I've thought about his death a lot for some reason. It's when I felt almost like when was it? Ninety two. I don't know. It was like one of a the later. No. Uh, mm. 90, yeah, maybe. Uh, it's one of those that... 99. 99. Yeah, it's like, I don't know, you just hear about it, and you're maybe I was old enough to be like, wow. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's crazy, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, 22. Yeah. yeah. 22, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was old enough. I was, uh, I was 20. 20. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a couple of crazy things that happened at the VMAs the decade. Lady Gaga wore a meat dress. Kanye Taylor Swift. That was the last uh, decade oh. we talked about in the aughts. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm agree. With, I agree with you. It's nuts. Mm -hmm. That last decade just—it's like the first decade that I've been out of touch. Yeah, 2010s. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Like, what? Yeah, yeah. And Miley Cyrus Gaga. did the thing with Robin Thicke where uh, she kind of shed her Hannah Montana image. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she did that. All right. You remember? Her, uh, <laughs> You remember the hide your kids, hide your wife? Yeah. Oh, that guy ruled. Antoine yeah. Dodson. Antoine Dodson. He's now a substitute teacher in Huntsville. Oh, really? Yeah. Did he try to do comedy or anything? Or I don't know. I remember Angela interviewed him oh, really? or something, but he was like the hot they made a song about it. Oh, I remember right. everything was auto-tuned. Yeah. I bought yeah. that auto-tuned song on iTunes and I played it all the time. <laughs> hide your kids, hide your wife. Yeah. What was it? I don't I forget. So it was a guy who lived in the projects in Huntsville, and oh, they interviewed yeah. him on the news. And he was, uh -huh. like, it was like, "Someone loose, uh, yeah, someone was loose." And he goes, "You need to hide your kids, hide your, <laughs> hide your wife, wife hide your wife." <laughs> and they're like, and like attacking everyone out here or something. Yeah, like that. yeah. yeah. And it was like, yeah, and so it just went viral. Good for him. Mm -hmm. Hamilton <laughs> became the highest grossing musical of mm -hmm. all time. Mm -hmm. It made three point three million over eight week performance. Still couldn't pay me to watch it, but uh... really. I'm a ball. I guess I'll watch it on TV. It's on Disney Plus, yeah, dude. You can I go watch I'll it right now. I if it was, Can if it was Canadian it. Parliament, I... would you? Maybe? Oh, uh, yeah. That gets me going. <laughs> yeah. I love that. You're, uh, a bunch of jerks. I never here. watched Hamilton either. I just don't think I care. Yeah, I, I think I, I'm past. Like I'm past. Musicals are just tough. Yeah. Just too sincere. But people are, love them. Yeah. I I tried to watch five minutes of it. I go. I can't. I go. I'm sure this is great, but I'm, yeah, I, yeah. I can't. I, I can't watch yeah. this. Some of those things where I'm like, this stinks. Everyone's dumb. I'm like, I'm sure I'm dumb. Yeah, mm -hmm. I just it's not it's not my thing. They're just they're singing when, when, yeah. when they should be talking. Yeah. And dumb. <laughs> it's sick. They're not even singing, they're rapping. They're rapping. So rap it's like, yeah. oh dude. I know the what was the other one the that the South Park people did? Oh, the Book of Mormon? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And everybody was like, it's the best thing. And I'm like, I never saw it, then I'm like, I just don't care anymore. Mm -hmm. South Park's one that I missed out on. Everybody loves South Park. Yep. Yeah. And I'll hear it's still on. I always like it being told to me, the episodes being told to me. Like Big J would always tell me yeah. the episodes. And I'm like, that's the funniest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, Soder loves it. So yes, yeah, yeah. so, like I get like I love hearing them tell me. And I'm like, God, I laugh so hard. But when I watch it, I'm just like, I just never mm -hmm. can get into it for some reason. But I mean, I get like the it's very funny. Mm -hmm. It's just could be like if you're not into cartoons, you're just like, I'm just not, you know. I was in the Family Guy, but yeah, South Park. Every time I watched it, I was like, "This is brilliant! Yeah. It's hilarious!" And then I just never watch it. Yeah, really, for yeah, whatever reason. Family Guy will always make me laugh harder. Love Family Guy. Yeah. Simpsons. Makes I sense. love the Simpsons. Well, the eight-year heyday. Yeah, like seasons oh. three to nine, two to nine. I guess that's seven years. Yeah, two to ten. Yeah, both ten. were. Both examples you gave were less than eight years. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I was really dancing around that. Well, eight-year period. Yeah. 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 Uh, two to three. Yeah. Eight-year period. Yeah. 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 Those are my. Those are the days. <laughs> uh, at the Oscars, the Moonlight La La, La Land mix-up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was incredible. That was incredible. I'll be honest with you. This is probably the last good Oscars. <laughs> you yeah. called me. Yeah. Um, I was on the phone with someone, so I paused it, and then you called me right after, and you said, "Did you just see that?" 
And I was like, nah, I missed it. And then I said, like, I cannot believe I missed that. And then you call me back. And you're like, you know, if if you paused it, or maybe yeah. it maybe it already played forward. You said you could still rewatch yeah. it. And then and then I rewound it and saw it. But yeah. but you broke that news to me. Oh uh, yeah, I remember that. Who was he the was, guy that did it? Warren Beatty. Yeah. Warren Beatty. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. I <laughs> almost think that's the last one I watched. Yeah. Last Oscars. Like I think it's been just the worst since then. Uh huh. But that was like the first one where you're, they were at least doing some movies that you're like, I've heard of those movies or Moonlight or I don't think I ever saw Moonlight, but it was at least the last run. Then they started getting into movies. You're like, I don't even know your five movies I've mm-hmm. never heard of, uh-huh. mm-hmm. which shows you the disconnect with Hollywood to be like, you're only pumping out. But they can't just do every superhero movie that they're only making I, superhero movies and they don't promote the real movies they're making. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I agree with you. They don't promote it. So whatever good movie they want to do, all those movies are super heavy too, by the way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everyone that gets it is like the heaviest yeah, yeah. movie of all time. And so they're pumping this out to people. And then they're like, why is no one watching Oscars? You're like, we, you don't even advertise these movies. This movie wins an Oscar. And I don't know if they make them enough money to be the budget. Yeah, you have to live in uh, the Upper West Side of Manhattan to, wa- to be able to see it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. So like where that you're you're killing your own in your art form mm-hmm. by by just going we want to make billions here. So there's a point you're like then don't do the Oscars anymore. Yeah. You think the Oscars is done it ends point. before our lifetime? Like it just goes like people are just done with I it. I hope not because because yeah, it's so great. Everybody yeah. loves it. Well, because it's motivation to make good mm-hmm. movies that won't make a ton of money. Yeah. You know. I don't think mm-hmm. it'll go. I think it'll they'll change best actor and best actress and it'll just be best actor best person best person. yeah which i yeah. best I'm, folk I'm, I'm i like i it sucks it'll be one less award but it should be that way i think yeah i think it made sense before when every leading man there was only like there was no leading woman roles mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but now that it's you know well you should make that best leading character than best yeah you know so there's still awards but they they need to do oscars yeah no one's watching these and so, you got to do something. Yeah. Like, there's a point you go, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know, no one's watching you at all. They almost got, like, the arrogance of the Masters, but the Masters, everybody watches. Like, the Masters <laughs> has an arrogance of, you know, well, we're not going to do commercials this year. He goes, well, we'll just put it out with no commercials. We don't care. We have money for all of it. That's what they did one year. They just put it out with no commercials. Wow. They could care less. That's awesome. Because it's like it's the the amount of money that they have, and the Oscars has that kind of attitude. And I don't know, do they have the? I don't know where like what it is. I don't know, but it's so heavy. And I mean, you speak movies like Forrest Gump or Gladiator or Braveheart would win Best Picture, mm-hmm. and those were more mainstream. They're still not dumb movies, but mm-hmm. but Forrest Gump's an amazing, amazing movie. Yeah. Yeah, but it's like go make that yeah. amazing movie. I'd love if those movies yeah. came back. Did not yeah, do well in China. Hmm. What's that? Forrest Gump did not do well in China because they just didn't That's get right. the references. That's right. Yeah. So, so, but now the movies are very heavy and yeah, yeah. You have to like it has to be, and the ceremonies very someone heavy. with Down syndrome who discovers that yeah. you know they're polyamorous <laughs> yeah, and then get shot in the head. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty good. Save that. Yeah. Pitch yeah. it. You, can, you it, yeah. can make a movie. Yeah. It's just, we've got to check all the bot. you know. Yeah. Just, and he's bitten okay. by a spider. Yeah, yeah. Bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he doesn't become Spider-Man because he just got bit by a spider. <laughs> it's about the other guy that got bit by the same spider, but I guess all the Peter people. Parker <laughs> got all the... <laughs> Radioactive correct. blood yeah. was gone, and I just got yeah. bit by a spider. He just I got just real got, itchy for a got bit. got real itchy. The whole died show of, was going like... Died of, it just followed him being dying of of cancer from radio. It's a radio movie called it. Scratch. Yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah, the whole show is he's same spider, not same <laughs> potent. Yeah. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Eight of the ten years of the decade, the top three shows were the same. Uh, NCIS, The Big mm-hmm. Bang Theory, yeah. and Sunday Night Football. Sunday Night Football is not a show. No particular order. I mean, they were all number one, but they were all Yeah, they always throw sports in there, and you're like, come on. Yeah, it's not fair. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, The broadcast of the Patriots Seahawks Super Bowl was the most watched program in American television history. It had, uh, at its peak, 120 million people in America. That same year, the Cricket World Cup had 2.2 billion people. (laughs) That's more. Yeah. That's so crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's crazy. 2.2 billion. I couldn't tell you a thing about cricket. 
I don't know how it's played. An Australian tried to explain it to me. And then I was like, what? Do it again. And then he did it again. I was like, I got to go. I have no idea <laughs> yeah. what. Yeah, I'll yeah. see you later, man. Yeah, I got it. It's a mix of baseball a little bit, right? There's got to yeah. be some baseball in there. Yeah, they got to throw. They got to the. You got to. The bowler, which is the pitcher, I think yeah. is trying to knock down the little the sticks behind the, yeah. the batter. Yeah. That's all I is got. Is it baseball with two sports with two bases, basically? Swedish yeah. baseball. Well, th- this is this is very funny. I saw this. Swedish baseball. There's some so some guy when when Americans were inventing baseball, some some guy from a different country, I think I think Sweden came over and learned it and then brought it back and completely botched it trying to explain it. Yes. So there's this whole other sport based on his misinterpretation of how oh, baseball really? actually worked, and I think the bases are aligned like this. Like first base is to the left, and then set, he just forgot how the field was supposed to look, yeah. uh, and taught the whole country that Abner Doubleday in Sweden. Yeah, it's Sweden. I'm uh, pretty. And that's sure. how they play baseball. Or there, there's a league that's thriving, yeah. and people play it. That's just it's just like wonky baseball. That's oh, so that's awesome. Swedish. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Go here and go there. <laughs> go around first base to come home. Yeah. Go homestead, and then we, we have home. a sauna. We have a group sauna. The home is a sauna. That's the foul line. Yeah. Parting path. We all celebrate with cured fish. <laughs> <laughs> I love just that guy coming back. He goes, no, 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 where's first base? He goes, I think it's in the middle. <laughs> yeah. It's, and, I mean, even someone that's never heard of the game goes, well, why would they do that? Oh, it's like Finland. Little... It's Finland. Sorry, oh. Sweden. Yeah. Is there... No, Sorry. Sweden's like, come on, man. We're crushing. <laughs> yeah. Do, is there we have the over? internet. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Can yeah, you I can zoom pull that up picture a, in? I can pull up a video. All right, look at that picture. So I lo- the home field, they stand. They're like, where's the dug up? They're, bu- they're behind the person. <laughs> what is that guy yeah, doing? It makes kind of there's no sense looking the, at it. Where's the pitcher at? Is he pitching right next to him? I don't it know. looks like there's a guy with a bat going to hit a guy. Yeah. There's, it's just, there's a batter facing a guy with a baseball Is there club. a video of this? Yeah, I can fool some. I can find some. Uh, I that's uh, Yeah, that's so cool. Uh, I love this. I love it, too. Like, this should be more. Why don't they do more of it, you know? If, you, anybody's, yeah, if you're listening, it's <laughs> home, first base is left of where the pitcher's mound is. Here we are. And then you run around the pitcher's mound, pitch the ball vertically. Oh, you throw it up and hit it. Yeah. Is uh, he on your team? Oh, you're no. allowed three strikes. <laughs> A guy just dove. There's no home plate. The can, whole field yeah. is an infield. It just looks so goofy to me. And I'm sure that American baseball looks goofy to them. But you want the difference between um, uh, Finnish people and Japanese people? <laughs> Japanese people were like, no, we get it. We'll perfect it. Yeah. We'll make our own league. (laughs) Finnish people were like, well, we all just run around. That's fine. You don't have to run. You can decide I'm not going to run. Why is everyone diving? I don't know. I wouldn't, it would, you'd have to dive into these rules. But I, the, uh, (laughs) this is insane. There's a guy just throwing the ball up in the air and then a batter runs over and hits it. Oh, yeah. Uh, And there, I mean, there, well, this, the idea of it is if uh, one bad pitch equals a walk, and then but the idea that you can hit it and then go ah that wasn't a good hit I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna you don't have to run you hit the ball they start playing it and then you go nah I'm I'm good I'm gonna wait and see if I can do another one you allowed all three strikes uh, this is a uh, that's a whole other thing we gotta look finish at. baseball I never heard of that that's good the uh, male athlete of the decade they're all wearing clam diggers. You notice that? What are clam diggers? Uh, uh, sounds like a like like short word. To be it honest. does. It yeah, sounds like you're like Graham. I don't think we can say that. Yeah, we're going it's after a, a targeted it's a short. Group. A short that goes flood pants. Oh yeah, yeah. No, nah, I don't know. I just went with you. Whatever would make this stop, I was trying to do. It. <laughs> so, I'm trying yeah. to let the audience know, <laughs> listeners. What they were wearing. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Male athlete of the decade. Do you know, Aaron? If you weren't going to look this up, <laughs> this 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 sport up, because I said the home, first base was next to the uh, pitching mound. Yeah. I don't think you're going to go, oh, I got to see who these clam digger pants are now. <laughs> like, yeah. I, don't, I don't think that's the thing that's yeah. going to get you to look them up. Uh, they're like capris, yeah. by the way. Yeah. Caprice. Now, yeah. now they're definitely not gonna look up. They're like, I get it, basically. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Every once in a while, I'll I'll say something and be like, Oh yeah, I am from a different country. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like weird little things like that. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, you said athlete of the decade. Yeah, two thousand of the two thousand tens. Tiger Woods, Michael Le- Phelps. Le- it's got to be LeBron. It's LeBron. Oh. You've had Tiger Woods for the last four decades. <laughs> well, he's been dominant <laughs> for a while. Tiger Woods is, was. That's one thing I do remember. Tiger Woods was not dominant over the past decade. Two thousand tens. He won uh, the Masters. Uh, he, he won, won two thousand eight. He won the Masters. Uh, which won Masters, but it's an unreal Masters that he won. But it doesn't. I it think he had one so year. so good it gets counted in the next decade. But I think one year he got player of the year, too, in the 2010s. Mm-hmm. And no one really kind of everybody kind of ignores that, but mm-hmm. he was, you know. Female athlete of the decade, Serena Williams. Yeah, got to be. Uh, the Cubs broke a over 100-year streak and won the World Series in 2016. That was awesome. I was living in LA and I, I went to go. I like specifically asked my Chicago friend. I was like, "Can I hang out with you tonight?" You Steve like, Bartman. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> See, I don't <laughs> think that's they, where he's underground. He's living under. I don't. Uh, I don't think they deserve it for what they did to Steve Bartman. Yeah, that was nuts. I agree. You see that thirty for thirty? He like lives in Alaska. Yeah, so that's what I mean. So I don't like you can't tell me like, well, the city deserves it. Y'all ruined a guy's life. Yeah, well, the whole city didn't. A couple. No, no, no. Chicago Tribune. Mm-hmm. They represent the whole city. Go talk to any of these people from Chicago. I was in Chicago when Bartman happened. That's where I w- was mm-hmm. working mm-hmm. when I started comedy. They ruined. Uh, they ruined that guy's life. They put his address in the newspaper. They did. Yeah, that's nuts. Where he works. That's and everybody nuts. thought that's okay. And everybody said good. That's, that's what the nuts. Chicago. And I was. And I remember just going like, "What are you?" And Will Bond on PTI. Which I love Kornheiser. I love PTI. But Will Bond would. I mean, for ten years. Would just still bring up Bartman with like hate in his voice, and then finally, like, is like, all right, well, like you know, yeah, we were we kind of mean to him. Yeah. They were like, you shouldn't have been that mean to him. You're like, this guy lives, yeah. If he lives in a lot, you've ruined a person's life. Mm-hmm. And 15 years later, you can kind of go, ah, oh, yeah, I probably went too hard on him. Well, you, his life's over now. He lives a different life because of people like you. Well, he's probably okay. He just changed his name and he lives in a terrible place. Uh, that's yeah, all men and yeah. no women. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure he's fine. It's fine. Yeah. They try to. He never, yeah. never got money off of it. Never got no. anything. Yeah, mm, that's very interesting. Seventh largest gathering in human history. Yeah, the Cubs victory parade. Really? Five million people were out there on the streets. Wow. It was insane. The seventh largest gathering oh my, in human I had history. No idea. It was a big, big thing. Man. Wow. Looks like it's out in the country. The only yeah. well, this is just one stage yeah. of. I mean, there's stuff going on I all would throughout say the city. If imagine the amount of five team. million. That's five million people that ruined Steve Barker's <laughs> life. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They. I would think. I honestly, unless I would, I would go to Steve Bartman. And I would celebrate the Cubs winning if Steve Bartman told me it was okay. If he goes, it made me really happy. And I would say, then, I'll, then I'm happy that they won. Only reason. I, for some reason, just maybe because I lived there, I, I only think uh, and through his eyes. Because they, 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 what they did to him was so wrong. They sent him a ring. They did all this. And they tried to do all this stuff. And it's like, come yeah. on, man. Yeah. If you don't, if you don't know, it's the guy. Worthy of such an honor. Oh, this is what he said? Here's his statement. Although I do not consider myself worthy of such an honor, I am deeply moved and sincerely grateful to receive an official Chicago Cubs 2016 World Series championship ring. They gave him a ring. I am fully aware of the historical significance and appreciate the symbolism the ring represents on multiple levels. My family and I will cherish for generations. Most meaningful, blah, 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 blah. I am relieved and hopeful that the saga of the 2003 foul ball incident surrounding my family and me is finally over. 13 years. <laughs> so 13 years he had to live with just... His family's in, just uprooted. Uprooted. Yeah. yeah. 13 years, and people loved it. <laughs> it's not like everyone is like, hey, guys, let's calm down. The main TV shows agreed that all of it was fine. That's, that's, the, that's the insanity. That's what makes me so mad, and that's why I don't think they ever even deserved it. That's why I like it. Yeah, that's why. I mean, I could care less that they win because of that. Yeah, because what that's disgusting that they would <laughs> ever do that in a million years to like. Uh, I love that Bartman's moved on more than you have. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was I'll cherish this. Come on, guys, let's just calm down. <laughs> We're like, he, you're like, if Bartman says it's okay, then I'll say it's okay. Well, here's here's a quote where he says it's okay. <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never live it down. <laughs> Bartman, you don't know what you're talking about, buddy. 
<laughs> what was the headline at the top? It was something like Bartman asked for, uh, I don't know, stuff. Oh, he asked for forgiveness? Yeah, or something. Or, I don't like that he's having to ask for forgiveness. No, no, he didn't for ask the for forgiveness. Of Chicago. Sorry. He he asked for oh privacy. Yeah, <laughs> I request the media please respect my privacy, the privacy of my family. I will not participate in interviews at this time. I meant the actual headline, but oh, uh, makes moving statement, statement about, about forgiveness. For- forgiveness. I remember a meme going around after they won that was like, "We forgive you now," and you want to be like, yeah. "How about he forgives you?" It's a yeah. It's like yeah. it's that attitude is mm-hmm. like just disgusting. I don't get into it, Chicago people on here about fight. I've theories about Chicago them sports I'm a Vandy fan I always remember that <laughs> I go through everything but Chicago for some reason they think they're one of the greatest they're the greatest sports cities in the world they had they didn't win a ring for 100 years with the Cubs and for some reason they think they deserved it every year mm-hmm. the the White Sox White Sox actually done the best mm-hmm. the Bears won once one time. That's right. And they think they're the greatest organization ever. Well, they won a few times they in deserve. the 1930s before they were homeless. There you go. Yeah. So, but like they they have this like history of all this stuff and you go, your teams all are terrible. Your, 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 your baseball team's so bad that you're blaming just anybody and everybody but the team. Mm-hmm. You blamed a goat. <laughs> you blamed, uh, you know, there's always uh, some kind of thing. Then you ruin a guy's life. It can't be their fault. You lost that game. You were up. You lost that game and lost the next game. Mm-hmm. But it's not it's not the team's fault. It's that guy that loves the team more than any of the people around him. But let's blame him. Mm-hmm. No one wants to be any. No one wants to uh, take up for like what they do. Jay Cutler was in Chicago. Well, it's his fault. It's no one else's fault. They brought in Jay Cutler. He's the only one that could have been that ruined everything. Wasn't. Uh, I understand being mad at Jay Cutler, being mad at your quarterback that you don't you can think that's good. But what point do you go? Let's start looking at the team, mm-hmm. the organization. Yeah. Is it? Can it all be Jay Cutler's fault? Yeah. Can it all be this kind of thing? Can everything always be someone else's fault? And you keep not winning, but you keep blaming players and people in the crowd. Yeah, I think the second and a goat. You publish somebody's home and address a in a paper. Yeah, you probably overstepped a little bit. Yeah. And everybody goes good. Is this because of your friends with Jay Cutler now? <laughs> I uh, I he's my best friend. And Some of it. Have you, are you now Jay Cutler always defended before that because of Vandy. He did yeah. more for us than we beat Tennessee the first time. Yeah. Uh, but it's I would I would have stuff with that with that Vandy where I was like always looking at when Vandy was going through stuff and everybody got mad at Derek Mason and I thought there's a point you got to go guys we can't be blaming these coaches like I they could maybe not be it's not the coach that's working out not saying that the coach is the problem there's a point that you got to go something's not going good upstairs like they're not doing what they're <laughs> supposed to be doing because mm-hmm. you just keep hiring the same person they go well he doesn't work either so what's the problem you're like they, it can't be titans had a little bit of that where i thought you're like you want a new coach and then you're like you start chasing down this thing where you go we need a new coach and you go i think it's got to be something higher because if you got a good organization then you tend to win i mean you look at tampa like you know tampa bay tampa uh the rays they've won you know they had these organizations like that were like these things are kind of good mm-hmm. cleveland browns another one like what have they aimed at the calves yours was so bad that you get this guy that couldn't win there went to miami and won and came back and at least won one more but you you know there's a point where you go like I mean y'all dude y'all had it and y'all are these organizations, the, the Cleveland teams I I want to win more than I don't know like if Chicago. it's the owner's fault. There's just not a lot of money in a town that's built on steel. And they I don't, don't blame steel I anymore. don't blame I, that's why Cleveland I I want to win yeah. more than Chicago, yeah. but Chicago is like get it. I mean come on man, like y'all just every like can you believe we're not winning again? Yeah, <laughs> you've never won. Yeah, I believe you will never win. Mm-hmm. That's how much. That's how confident I am. I was shocked you won one in a hundred years. I love how they broke up the '98 Bulls in '99 because they're like, we're going to rebuild. Yeah, <laughs> look like, at that. They broke like, that up. Look at that. How they do with the Bulls? He was yeah. going. They were all going to come back. It's like, and they go, that's enough of that. It's enough of that. That's what they did. I agree. That's what I think they do with Tom it's, Brady. And yeah. uh, I think you get uh, in the Patriots. I think Belichick with the Brady. They're just like. People don't want this. They they weirdly want change too much. So instead of like paying that guy, Brady should be able to like if he wants to die in a game, mm-hmm. let him do it. Yeah. If you lose 
eight playoffs in a row. Row, that's okay. Then we lose eight playoffs in a row. Yeah. That guy gave us six Super Bowls, and we're tied as the most ever. So let's – and then now he's got more than every franchise. Instead, y'all rushed him off, and then he went and won it. I don't know. Patriots won three Super Bowls there you go. in the decade. Three of them. The Warriors and Cavs played in four straight NBA championships. Yeah. LeBron, a big thing with LeBron played nine straight finals. That's insane. Yeah. That's the thing that even though crazy. he didn't win them, that's crazy. That's dude. crazy. That's crazy. Yes. Um, the 2018 2019 Toronto Raptors won their first NBA championship. Woo! I flew home yeah, to that. watch it at, at Comedy Bar in Toronto. I uh, flew back to Toronto. I'm not from. It was just awesome. Yeah. It was so awesome. I. That one was exciting. It was, the but that's best. an organization that's really good. Yes, we have a problem because no one wants free agents don't want to come to Canada because yeah. they they like oh I gotta get a passport. Yeah, I mean, like, oh, but God. it was like one good player showed that like oh y'all could win a bunch actually yeah. y'all have a great organization great organization yeah unless that guy left did that guy leave Kawhi Leonard right yeah. away yes. not Kawhi Leonard though or <laughs> the the GM or no something? he stayed he stayed oh he, he did Messiah he resigned he got like a ton of. He like basically he is like the, the king of the yeah. company now. He can do it anywhere yeah, he wants. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Most dominant college athletic program, Vanderbilt, uh, <laughs> won two SEC, I mean, national championships in baseball. Wow. Uh, went mm. to five bowl games, had two back to back nine win seasons. It was a big year for us. Well, yeah. Big, de- uh, big, big decade. decade. Big decade. Won it the was. SEC basketball tournament in 2012. Yeah. Vanderbilt is, I still is, talk to is you about the, that. the most winning. Remember I called you about that? that oh, was I, in, remember. Uh, I was at Bed Bath yeah, & Beyond. Were dominant. Yeah, I was at uh, – <laughs> I've never heard of that I was in college. Canada. Yeah. I think I was in Canada. Uh, I thought that was the weekend that uh, Marin tweeted about you um, in Michigan. 2012, maybe. No, when that, that game was on, you know what? We lost that weekend. So the weekend Marin – tweeted that that's out. right I had a bunch of text i saw the game before my show and then we lost to, i want to say wisconsin that's or right something. you're right and then I, I saw these texts i was like golly all these twitter notifications i was like is everybody just making fun of me because vanderbilt lost or something mm-hmm. and it was the marin thing but the 2012 one that, we I mean, that was the same year oh it was yeah we won the oh. sec and then we got put out by yeah. wisconsin yes in the tournament so that was uh okay yeah yeah and then it was so that, but that was the year we won the SEC championship. I was like, "This is not good," like, uh, you know. But because he was ready, he was ready for the coach to leave. Yeah, and yeah. he well, knew that would keep him there. <laughs> well, it was, it was, it, you know, you do think there's, you know, there's times for changes and stuff. And mm-hmm. yeah, now um, is Vandy NCAA? Yeah, a, a Division One. Yeah, barely. Huh. They're on the cusp. <laughs> oh, yeah, Alabama over here. <laughs> no, Notre Dame. Oh, Notre yeah. Dame. That's true. Yeah, <laughs> these are Notre Dame Cowboys fans and Bull Nineties fans. <laughs> Yankees. 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 <laughs> yeah. I, I know that I knew that they're Division One. I just wanted to see yeah. what you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a really funny question. Yeah. <laughs> you guess yeah. you're gonna, well, you're gonna see how I act once these cameras cut off. <laughs> yeah, he just yeah. brings out a switch. Yeah. Where'd you get a switch? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, best-selling musical artist of the decade: Swift, Taylor Swift. She's third. Beyonce, Ooh, third. Uh, Lady Beyonce. Drake. No Drake. Yeah, Drake's eight. Rihanna. Drake is eight. Okay. Fifth. Uh, Adele. Adele. Really? Adele. Mm-hmm. Wow. Be- Bieber was second. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, they're both pretty big. Um, well, she's less big now. <laughs> hey. Oh, that's good. Hey. Uh, 2018, Stephen Colbert debuted uh, Graham K on the late show. Stephen Colbert. Ooh, nice. Right. Oh, yeah. That's right. Big year. That's right. Big year. Mm-hmm. I thought we'd talk about that a little bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll tell you about that. I I told myself I'd never go on vacation. I started comedy in 2007, and I got that in 2018. I said, I'm never going to go on vacation until you get an, an American late night. And then the way they film it is they film a bunch of comedians. They have a full audience, and they just have six comedians. Mm-hmm. And then they edit the comedians out and put them into shows throughout the next couple months. You never know when you're going to be on. And so I waited a couple of weeks, and they weren't telling me when I was going to be on. So I just booked a vacation yeah. by myself. To yeah. eat. I went to Paris. Yep. And, um, and alone. Yeah, Paris and Berlin. I didn't have a girlfriend, yeah. and uh, I just wanted to go on vacation. And like, I just wanted to like not, you know. And and uh, so I went there, and and I, as soon as I landed, I got like a text from the bruiser saying, "I'm I'm I'll be on tomorrow." <laughs> so I yeah. never I never got to see it. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, yeah. it was pretty you good. Saw it. You should check it out online. Actually. I saw it on YouTube yeah. like yeah. two weeks later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No funny. one cared anymore. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> yeah. 
Sharp yeah, outfit, though, it. man. Looks good. The haircut. blue suit yeah. is a nice touch. Thanks, yeah. thanks. Yeah. And you have a joke about buying a suit in that set. That's right. Was that the suit? Uh, no. Okay. No. That suit, actually, I got it like Filing's basement for like 100 bucks. Mm. Oh, it looks though. good. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. good. Uh, Instagram was debuted in 2010. It's that Instagram recent. Instagram K. Yeah. That's right. This is <laughs> handy. Follow me at Instagram. The iPad 2010. See, I feel like that's been around longer. The iPad? Yeah. I would have guessed that's uh, yeah. early 2000s. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I, I, remem- Inst- I remember Instagram. I was like, wow, this doesn't make sense. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Same. And I remember thinking, this doesn't make sense. Why would I do it? And then also, the thing I remembered, I bet I'm going to one day understand this. Yep. Just because you're like, this is how it's going. Same thing with yeah. Twitter, everything. Yeah. TikTok, like, it's the same way. Yeah. So TikTok, I'm, I don't do. I just, I do not learn. Mm-hmm. Every time one comes along, I'm like, nah. I mean, I, I remember Dan, Dan Soder was like, you should get, I was like, I chose my, my Twitter handle is Graham K Comedy because I want them to know I'm a comedian. He's like, you should do Graham K if it's available. I'm like, it is. But I, how are they going to know I'm a comedian? idiot <laughs> and now obviously the last the great the graham k who has at graham k on twitter hasn't tweeted since 2009 and his <laughs> last tweet is why am i even on here <laughs> I just can't. did you ask him to do you have yeah you, you've tried to message him i messaged his twitter i messaged him yeah nothing yeah I remember that about blogs. I didn't understand blogs. Yeah, I, I, I just, still don't get blogs. I just don't see the I, point I just of don't Twitter. See the point of Twitter. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. July twenty third, yeah. two thousand ten. That's right. There he is. Graham K. Yeah. Graham Stephen K. Yeah. Oh, That's that so rules. funny. I hardly, twelve followers. I never hardly go on Twitter. This is only my second time ever. I'm regularly on Facebook though. I'm on the computer. I mean, this dude yeah, yeah. is just joined. Are you his only follower? Uh, I might be. I can't see. I that. hope yeah. you are. Uh-huh. That would be That's, great if yeah. you're his only follower. <laughs> it's a picture dog. of a dog. Yep. It's a scared dog. All right. Are you going to kill me? Click. Twitter yeah. and Instagram, if somehow you hear this, let Graham have you're You don't even understand the point of Twitter. Yeah. Just give it up. He's not going to give it up That's now. That's start. He's probably I a- just don't see the point of Twitter. <laughs> Is his last tweet yeah. ever. Yeah. He joined... <laughs> He joined in 2009. How many tweets did he do? Three. Three, yes, three, three, tweets. three tweets. Three tweets. So, all right, just let me read the tweets. So, he joined in 2009. Uh, February 8, 2009 is when he joined. And he said, I'm on the computer. <laughs> Came back October 12, 2009. <laughs> it says, is, uh, is on the computer again. I never hardly go on Twitter. This is only my second time ever. <laughs> I'm regularly on Facebook, though. July 23rd, 2010, I just don't see the point of Twitter. <laughs> All got one like by his one follower, uh, who I guess who he, or he has 12 followers, and he's only following one person. He probably liked it himself. Yeah. He's got 12 followers. Graham K. Graham Stephen K. Huh. That's I did the man. exact same thing with Instagram like five years later. Yeah, it's a Graham K comedy. Same. How are they gonna get my comedian? <laughs> it was available. It was yeah. right there. And now you're Instagram. Now I'm Instagram. Which is K. not bad. That's better. It's okay. Yeah. It's hard to explain to people. Yeah, people don't get it. Yeah, it's got to be like like GK GK or something like that. You just say Instagram with an H in the middle, and then let them figure out the H part. But then K, but and, and, and an extra A, yeah, and an extra H. Graham K. Yeah, it's gone. Oh, Instagram K. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I would just say that. Okay. <laughs> that's it? Yeah, I think so. I think that's it. I think that's that's enough. It's enough of that. It was uh, a good decade. Good yeah. decade. I also, There's a Nate. I have a, a Nate land that I was trying to get forever uh, on Twitter. Mm-hmm. And it's a guy named Nathan something. And sure. I didn't know how to, like, get... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there yeah. is Nate yeah. land. Yeah, when was the last time he joined 2009? What was his last tweet? 2016. 2016. He's a big Phillies uh, yeah. or Pirates fan. Yeah. Also, in 2018, or yes, I, uh, no, I went to I went to when I went to Paris, Notre Dame Cathedral. Yeah. I didn't have time to see it, and I was like, been here 500 years. So I'll, I'll see it next trip. <laughs> Burnt down like a week later. Yeah. <laughs> What was it? Notre Dame Cathedral oh, in Paris. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was like, that was when you went when it burnt down. I was like, I I, I yeah. couldn't didn't have time, and I was yeah. like, I was I almost made. It. I was like, nah, it's been there like six hundred years, yeah, a thousand years. I'll get it when I'm back yeah. next time. And it burnt down the next week. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. 
Hmm. It's yeah. like walking out on the Music yeah. City Miracle. Yeah. Uh, all right. He's a wave assassin. What? <laughs> yeah. Nate Land. Is his name Nate Land? I think his name is Nathan Land. Nathan Land, yeah. So. In D.C. <laughs> he's a podcast named after him. And he's got it. Uh, all right. Yeah. All right, everybody. Uh, thank you as always. Uh, we love you, Graham. Go to uh, Instagram K. Hey, see, it's hard. Instagram K mm-hmm. on all your stuff. Just on Instagram. The, and it's Mr. Graham K on Twitter. Mr. Graham K. Because Instagram K wouldn't work on Twitter. Yeah. Mr. Graham K. Mr. Graham K. Is good. Yeah. It's good to mix them up. Yeah. Makes people yeah. hard to find. Yeah. So yeah. keep on their toes. Yeah. Keep they, on their toes. I, I, anyone who finds me really wants it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's What's hard. your website though? You have it all that on your website. I have GrahamK.com. Sir Graham but because someone someone bought my name and made yeah. me buy it for three hundred dollars. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. You know what happened? I was on the bonfire. Yeah. And I said that it w- that it was unavailable. And then someone waited for it was to be uh available and like they bought it off that guy yeah. and then sold it to me yeah we had it on a, the bonfire we had a i wanted to get a nateland.com and i think there's a there is a nateland.com but i don't know if it's whose it is and i, I it says it's like i don't know oh, it says it can't reach i didn't look into it yeah it says that you can't load it i would love to get nateland.com uh also, if you, if you want to get tickets for Nate's tour, you can get them at GrahamK.com. It's the only you place go. you can get them. At. <laughs> That's the only place you can buy. Them. Weirdly enough, so place. go there. Yeah, but there, uh, yeah, I would love to see if I can. Uh, and we had we had a guy. It just came to the show a couple weeks ago uh, that gave us the greatest average American dot com. Oh, That's awesome! That's we awesome. bought it after the special. And I was like, well, that's good. That's you know, really nice. That, the greatest average American dot com. So if you, I think if you look that up, you can see it. Nate Lane uh, is taking it. NateTown dot com. Yeah, I know, Change but Nate, so you just move on so quick. What do you mean? Why, why can't you get Nate Land? Somebody has it. I know, but like they're not using it. Yeah, they're sitting on it. Okay. You know? All right. Uh, all right, everybody. We love you as always. Thank you. We'll see you next week. Thanks, everybody, for listening to the Nate Land Podcast. Be sure to subscribe to our show on iTunes, Spotify, you know, wherever you listen to your podcast. And please remember to leave us a rating or a comment. Nate Land is produced by me, Nate Bargetzi, and my wife, Laura, on the All Things Comedy Network. Recording and editing for the show is done by Genovations Consulting in partnership with Center Street Media. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to catch us next week on the Nate Land Podcast.